And of course, we have an exclusive interview with Titans head coach Brian Callahan. It's Callie's Corner, and it's presented by SeatGeek. Could you please fully explain what happened on Miami's, and I wrote down how to call this, Miami's onside free kick attempt with their punter? What were the Dolphins hoping was going to happen there? My best guess is that they were, they tried, we used to call it a, a moonshot punt. Um, sometimes we would, over years, different places I've been, if you had a punter that could hit that ball, what they try to do is hit it as high in the air as they can uh, and make you have to try to manage and catch it. Uh, because, you know, you can fair catch it and all that, but it's more about fielding the ball. Um, that would be my best guess uh, without knowing exactly what they were trying to do, but they tried to hit a very similar style, you know, pop-up punt where you have to field it. Um, I would say in, tr in full transparency that from where I was standing, I couldn't tell where the setup zone was. To Quan's credit, um, and really I think – he did a really nice job of understanding the rule, knowing the, where the setup zone was, where the ball had to land. You made clear in your press conference that when healthy, Will Levis is your quarterback. You had intimated that he wouldn't probably do a lot today. How much do you need to see from Will this week to feel comfortable playing him against Indianapolis? That he can perform as, as normal without you know any reservation. I think day by day he'll feel better and better. Uh, that's generally how those things work, you know, and it's been he got an extra week on top of it. So hopeful and optimistic that he's ready to play Sunday. Um, and then we'll just we'll see how it goes. He's if he if he has any reservations about being able to, to make throws or feel good about taking a hit, all those things, uh, then we can evaluate it then. But it'll be a feedback from him on how he feels and if he can perform uh, to the level that's required to play quarterback in the NFL. Titans are getting ready to take on the Indianapolis Colts, and the Colts have made it very clear that Anthony Richardson is their quarterback when he's healthy. Now, whether or not he's healthy, we don't know. And Joe Flacco, his backup, is a very different style of quarterback than Anthony Richardson. Is this a situation where it might be extra challenging to prepare given that they are such different types of quarterback and you might not know who you're facing until pretty late in the week yeah that'll be a challenge um that's you know obviously Flacco's been doing it for a really long time and uh his ex his explosive play rate is through the roof and he's got the ability to make all the throws and he's been doing it for a really long time um you saw what he did in Cleveland last year my dad was with him then so, you know you see what he's done this year so far for Indian in his um reserve role it's it's been impressive and that's what you expect from a guy like him that's played uh, the amount of football he has and then you have the whole dynamic with Anthony Richardson with the with the quarterback run game and his ability to move it's it is very different styles of quarterback play um, and so you have to sort of have a plan for both uh, and then you still have to have a plan for their, for their offense in general the receiving crew for sure regardless of who the Colts end up playing at the quarterback position they have a lot of receivers who are just phenomenal Josh Downs Michael Pickman Alec Pierce, A.D. Mitchell, all of those guys are going to put a lot of pressure on any opposing secondary, right? I would say so, yeah. It's it's a good group and uh, a homegrown group on top of it, guys that they've drafted, they've developed. Um, you know, I was I was with their offensive coordinator, Jim Bob Cooter, at two different places, both in Denver and in uh, Detroit. I worked for, for Jim Bob, and uh, Shane and I have some crossover. Shane worked for Mike McCoy, who I worked for for a long time in Denver. So there's some there's – some, familiarity in offensive scheme and how they like to do things. Um, guys that have always uh, watched their tape and, and been impressed by how they use the players they have. Um, and they've done a really nice job of acquiring talent at the skill positions. Uh, I think their tight ends are good players too. I think they've had some injuries, but um, it's it's a good group from top to bottom in the skill positions. They got four real receivers um, that can come in and make plays and they find ways to get them the ball. And it's, you know, evidenced by the explosive play rate that they have and their ability to score touchdowns from far out um, is is impressive and they again you have then you add the element of, of Anthony Richardson and his ability to run it's a whole it's a it's a lot to, to prepare for and get ready for for more of our conversation with Brian Callahan we invite you to enjoy the OTP you can watch the OTP on the Titans YouTube channel or at TennesseeTitans.com don't forget to subscribe to the OTP wherever you get your podcasts. There is only one official Titans podcast, better known as the OTP. Stay tuned. More Titans All Access right after this.